Hello everyone, my name is Nate Lex and welcome back to XDEX. This week I have a very special move for you as it is one I created myself and it is called Apple Turnover. It looks a little something like this. I created Apple Turnover when I worked for OPC, which was Organic Playing Cards, and we were going to be releasing our Slicers deck, which was Apple-themed, and we actually got to shoot the trailer in New York City, which was awesome, and I dressed up as Johnny Appleseed. Uh, here's a clip here, I'll show you. And uh, yeah, I came up with this move a little while ago, but I wanted to release it at the release of our Apple deck, so this is called Apple Turnover, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But stay till the end of the video, we're going to show you guys how to win a deck of these Seppel Serenes by Dealer's Grip, I think that's what they're called, I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly. Seppel or Sepal Serene. Um, it's the deck I'll be using in the video and we'll be giving one away at the end, so stay tuned to see how you can win. I'll stop mumbling and without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial for Apple Turnover. All right, everyone, and without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial for Apple Turnover. If you didn't watch the preview, it looks a little something like this. I'll do that again because that was bad. Also, this is with a super new deck, so it may not be the best. But here's the thing about this awesome move. It's very simple, and once you get it down, it's really fun to do. And a lot of the cards do the work for you. So let's just jump into it. So to start out Apple Turnover, you're going to want to learn how to do a corner spin or corner, essentially a corner grip. That's in the grips tutorial and you just want to be able to spin a packet between your fingers like this. So between your middle and your thumb on opposite corners, be able to spin the card by pulling the sides. And that is really the only prerequisite for this, as well as something I'll teach you where you move the card over your hand like that. But we've done that in a ton of other tutorials, so this one should not be that hard. So let's get started. Uh, with about a third of the deck, I think about Maybe less, a fourth, whatever feels comfortable to you. You can do this with bigger packets or smaller packets, but I like smaller packets for this. Uh, you're going to want to break off a packet like this. So you hold it in dealer's grip, the deck in dealer's grip like this. Break off about a fourth, between a fourth and a third, like this, and your index finger is going to contact the front. Um, you're essentially going to hold it kind of like in a Charlier grip, um, just so that you're going to be able to break a packet off and spin it. And that's going to be, excuse me, the, one of the hardest parts. Um, so it's actually a fairly easy move. So what you're going to do is break off a third or a fourth with your middle at the top um, corner here. So it's top right for righties, top left for lefties, uh, and your thumb at the opposite bottom corner. And then what happens is your index touches the front like so, the top short side, and your thumb touches the long side here. Um, the whatever, you get this side, the, the side that your thumb should be on. <laughs> and your middle and your thumb are actually going to break off half of that packet like this. So now you should be in a grip like this. So it's almost like a grip that's another prerequisite, I guess. Um, and you're going to turn this top packet over with your index finger. So just to get you into that first position, thumb here on the side, index at the front, um, kind of like you're starting a Charlier, but with less cards, and you're going to split off half of that packet like this. Um, and then what happens is, your middle finger and thumb are going to be gripping this top packet. Your index finger is going to touch this short side and just spin it over. So this bottom corner here, if you lift the card up, if you separate it like in a Z grip, so almost put it at a 90 degree angle from the middle packet, should be able to spin to where your index finger goes under and your index finger should essentially be under long ways. So it should look like this from underneath. So you've broken off this packet like this you're still in this grip, the index stays on that end, and the middle can also contact the other long side to help you balance it out. The thumb doesn't need to be there the whole time. And this spins over like this. Now when you finish this spin, this ring finger needs to contact the top right or top left corner, depending on what hand you're using, with your thumb still grabbing onto it. So it should look like this when you're finished. So this is it in slow motion breaking off half, index spinning that over, the ring finger now contacting this upper corner, just like your middle is doing, only with a different packet. So you should be in this weird grip where your index finger is splitting um, and pushing in between the packets here. The ring and thumb are contacting one and the middle and thumb are contacting one. You should have two packets of maybe five to seven cards, maybe five to 10 cards, not sure. And the index finger is still down here. Now what happens is, this is super cool, this thumb on your dealer's grip hand pushes this top left or top right corner, depending on what you're using, and pushes, your index finger gets out of the way, and that thumb pushes this through. 
Now there's a move I've taught before, where it's not a full move, but it's kind of a fidget move, and it looks like this, where your thumb pushes down that corner, and then the pinky on your dealer's grip hand and the ring finger curl in to get this to extend. So definitely get that move down, because what's gonna happen is this. This packet's going to rotate over and almost go sideways, so now it is going to be perpendicular to the deck like this, and so what it looks like in slow motion is pushing that over, and then it will, you'll keep, you'll turn this wrist down, and this will actually pull behind so that this packet can slip underneath the dealer's grip packet. It'll look like that. I've done this in crate opener, so if you guys haven't watched crate opener, that'll be a great tutorial for how to get that part done. So what happens is you split off this packet, we're back to here, and this thumb pushes through on that top left or top right corner to turn that packet over, and you pull this one behind. So you're starting that move. Now here's the thing, you don't close this yet. What happens is this packet slides up the deck, so you're, you're holding essentially the deck like this, and your, this is super cool. This top corner right here is going to contact this top corner on the back side, it's gonna run into itself. And if you hold this with a loose grip, watch what happens. This actually turns over on its own and can lay into the deck and you let the whole thing close. And that is why this move looks so smooth because you're allowing the deck to do more of the movement than you are. And that's how that closes. That is Apple turnover. I'm gonna go over this again because it's um, simple in concept, maybe a little bit complicated if you don't know some of those moves. But you pull off that packet of about a fourth to a third. Let's see what happens if I do a third. You can do a third. And you, it just might be harder to separate. Separate with the thumb connecting these two corners down here. Index still touching the short side uh, on your left hand or your dealer's grip hand. So right hand maybe on your non-dealer's grip hand, your right finger, I'm sorry, not your right finger, your index finger, excuse me, turns this over, make sure it pulls back so that it can spin and clear. The ring finger makes contact with the other top corner opposite your thumb, and it starts here. Then your thumb pushes through that way, and your wrist tilts down to get this one behind. You leave this thing open, and your hand should be in this grip. And what's cool is you're in a position just to move your hand this way, up the deck, and as you push your hand towards this top corner here, against this opposite top corner with a light grip, it'll turn that packet over, and then you can bring your hand back down, so this whole big packet will now slide through this area in your hand. So we'll do that over slow-mo. So you spin, oop, spin that one over, push that through with your thumb, bring this hand up, it pushes that over, and then it all closes together. And that's Apple Turnover. So I'll go over it one more time slowly and you guys pretty much have the move down. That's the whole tutorial. So you take about a fourth or a third off, index touches the front, thumb touches this long side, you break off so this is half and half. Your index peels over the top, so it's now face up, pushes through that corner so it's face down again. This ring finger makes contact with the other top corner on the next packet, on the middle packet in between. This thumb pushes through, clearing that packet. Your wrist tilts down so that this can be uh, against your thumb. This pinky and ring pull this packet up so that this packet can be pulled in. You can use your index finger, sometimes you don't need it if you do it fast enough. And make sure it clears all the way down. This now face down packet like this starts to move up the deck. And as this top corner here makes contact with this top corner here, it'll tilt over itself in, and then you can pull your hand down to square up that packet and then let go of that hand, and all this should fall together. I realized that I was a little bit away from the mic when I did that, so excuse me, I'll do it one more time. A little bit in slow-mo, pull that apart, push through, thumb pushes through there to grab around. This hand can kind of tilt clockwise or counterclockwise depending on how you're doing it. This comes up here while this is pulling in, and it's pretty fluid, and that is Apple Turnover. Thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial on my move. I would love to see you guys do a video of it, so if you want to tag us on Instagram, I'll tell you how to do that, or where to reach us on Instagram in the outro, but 
if you guys do this, I would love to see you guys performing this. So hope you guys have enjoyed Apple Turnover and I'll see you guys in the next one. Here's me with the outro. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the tutorial for Apple Turnover. I hope you like it. One of the little tips that I'll give you in case I didn't mention it in the video is that one of the ways to make your cardistry look so good is to have the cards do more movement than your hands. So if possible, try to use your hands as little as possible while making the cards do all of the movement. And hopefully I walked you through that in the tutorial. Anyway, um, I'm going to tell you how to win one of these things and you guys know what that means it is now time for housekeeping so without further ado let's jump into it um, I work for xdex that is x-dex.com you guys can look us up on the internet we resell rare decks of cards we make our own we just sold the lo-fi deck and I believe as this tutorial is launching they should be live on our website if you missed the Kickstarter so there will be a link in the description to our website you guys can go check them out look up lo-fi volume uh, lo-fi mix volume one and you guys can buy those I'm also giving away one of these decks in our video today so to do that great segue follow us on Instagram at xdex rare cards uh, give us a like on this video and leave a comment telling me what you would do with this or why you want to win one really any comment will do even if it's what you like about the cardistry or what you like about the move or a move that I've done in the past just like the video subscribe to our channel so you can put the little subscribe button there follow us on Instagram and leave a comment on this video so that's let's say it again like the video leave a comment on the video subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram and that is how you can win and we will announce the giveaway next week when I come out with another tutorial. So uh, we just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. We've seen uh, an explosion of interaction since the convention. So I'm happy and pleased to be interacting with you guys. Thank you so much for, um, yeah, just supporting us and saying hi. Um, I love teaching this. So uh, I also mentioned this on our story today, but I might do some tutorials in the future showing you how to shoot your cardistry or record videos of your cardistry to make it look the best it possibly can. Anyway, guys, I'm Nate Lex with XDex, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.